All right. Another use of degree of polynomial is that polynomial also affect an equation. So you know that for every equation, we always have solutions, which is also called roots. So it is the degree of polynomial that will tell us how many roots, how many solutions, or how many answers a particular polynomial will have. So let's see that. Assuming we have a linear polynomial or linear equation, then let me use polynomial again. Let's say an equation. For instance, ax plus b equal to zero. This is a linear equation, a general linear equation. Of course, this is going to produce only one root. That's at the end of the day, if we solve this, we are going to get x equal to minus b over a. So by the solution of this. So this is very easy to handle for something like that. Then, assuming the polynomial, assuming the equation is a quadratic equation like this. x, ax squared plus bx plus c. For this type of equal to zero, for this type of equation, which is quadratic equation. So because the degree is one, we are going to have two roots or two solutions or two answers. You can see that linear equation produce only one root. Quadratic, because of degree two, it will produce two answers. That's why at the end of the day, our result is always of this nature, x equal to alpha or x equal to beta. So it is degree that affects our answer. Similarly, if we have a polynomial or, uh, sorry, an equation of degree three, like ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equal to zero. For this type of equation, so, such that the degree is three, we must get three roots or three solutions or three answers. That is why our answers at the end of this, at the end of the solution of this, it's always of this picture x equal to alpha or x equal to beta or x equal to gamma that is how it's always looking then if it is polynomial of degree 4 like ax raised to 4 plus bx raised to 3 plus cx raised to 2 plus dx plus e in this type of equation, if we solve this, it's going to produce a kind of solution that have this picture. x equal to alpha plus a, uh, or x equal to beta or x equal to gamma or x equal to delta. Let's use delta here. Let's use delta here. So you can see that this is producing four roots why because we have degree four it's producing four answers because we have degree four this is another use of degree of equation in the next video we shall explain another use of degree of equation thank you for viewing this god bless you